Hey, it's John from Simple How To's and Reviews. And today we're going to be looking at some solar powered path lighting and we'll see if they cut the mustard. Thanks for joining me today on Simple How To's and Reviews. We're going to be looking at the Apo Uno Pathway Lights. And these are for your deck, your dock, your driveway, or your sidewalk. They are IP67 rated, so they can get a little splashed on, but you're not going to submerge these. But we'll see how these hold out in a long-term review later on. But for now, I just want to talk about uh, getting them out of the box, installing them, and how they worked. Okay, so right out of the box, you are going to get a light that looks like this. And it is got a solar sensor on it. And you are going to get, for each light, you're going to get a pair of screws and anchors. I would just toss those because they're cheap, all right? And you'll get some very, a very basic instruction manual here. And you will get this notification telling you to be sure to fully depress the button on the bottom in order to get these to light up. Now, these are made out of some kind of metal. They're quite hefty. Uh, again, I would not recommend using the installation screws and anchors that come with them. I have chosen to use some very thin tent stakes. They'll go right through this hole right here. You, If you don't have those, you could get an old coat hanger and just bend it in half, and that will hold them in place on your lawn just fine. If you're going to install them on your deck or your dock, I would use deck or dock screws in order to install these to make sure that they're in place. Okay, so when you set these up, you have to just press this button right down here. And as you can see, when the solar panel is covered up, it lights right up. And while it's getting light, it doesn't. So no light, light. It works as, it, as expected. Right out of the package, all eight of them work. You do get eight of them and they were very simple to install. There's really not much to it, really. We'll see how these hold up over the winter. It says they're rated from minus 20 Celsius to 70 Celsius, so that's quite a large range. Hopefully they hold up over the winter. Again, we'll address that in an upcoming long-term review, but for now, I'm very happy with the product. You get exactly what you pay for. The packaging is simple, and uh, the, the instructions, are in the comedic English that you would expect from something that's being drop shipped from China. But other than that, I think they're going to work out fine. Again, I'm happy with them and we'll see how they turn out. So for now, I would give these a thumbs up and the long-term review will come back later on. Hey, thanks for watching Simple How To's and Reviews. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe, ring that bell to get notifications and if you want to support me, go to buymeacoffee.com slash John Wilkerson. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back next time with a simple how-to or a review. Bye.